All right, so for circumcenter, we are going to use perpendicular bisectors, okay? And the circumcenter is gonna be located at the point of concurrency or where our three perpendicular bisectors intersect, okay? So we're gonna be able to tell where they intersect after we do two, but we will do three. So let's start out with AC. So remember with our compass, we want to open, let's put our needle at A, and we wanna open our compass so that it is greater than half the distance. And we're just gonna make an arc here, and we're gonna put the needle here and make an arc right here. So needle at A, one sweeping arc going this way, same distance on my compass, and another arc going this way. Okay, now we take our straight edge and we're gonna draw a line through these points of intersection. And it's always good to draw your line a little bit past each point of intersection, just in case you end up with a circumcenter that's on the outside of your triangle, which will happen if your triangle is obtuse. All right, so that was A. So now let's do side BC, okay? So for BC, let's put our compass needle at B and I'm gonna narrow it down just a little bit and make sure it's just, the width is just more than half of the length. Okay, now we put our compass at C, same openness, and we draw our arc here. All right, straight edge to connect our points of intersection. So about right there. And notice we have this point right here of intersection. Okay, so let me draw my perpendicular boxes there. All right, so let's do AB and it should cross right there at that point. So for AB, we can, let's open it a little bit wider. Just make sure it's more than half and we'll draw our arc running into my words there. Okay, put the needle on A and draw our arc going this way. Okay, so we got a lot of arcs here. So make sure you are keeping track of which arc goes with which. All right, so as we get ready to draw our line here, you can see that this line will pass through our, draw it a little bit lower, our point of intersection of our other two lines, okay? So now we'll call this point P, and point P is our circumcenter. So now what we can do with the circumcenter, we know that the circumcenter is equidistant from the vertices. So we can take our compass and we can put the needle at P and we can put the other end of the compass at one of the vertices. And this will allow us to circumscribe, which means draw around a circumcircle, which will draw around our triangle and it will touch each vertice because the distance is from A to P, P to B, P to C, those would all be radii, and they all have the same distance. So this is our circumcenter and our circumcircle.